page 107, I'm going to try and leave question 12 just straight off. Right, um, oops, great start, well done me. Right, 27 small um, spheres are melted down, small steel spheres, ball bearings I suppose, are melted down and recast into a bigger ball. So we've got like a, <clears throat> a little diddy one, and I've got 27 of these, and I'm going to put them all together and get one big one, alright? So that's the story in a nutshell. That is not a nutshell, that's just ball bearing. Right, the original radius of the little one is one centimetre. What is the radius of the new steel sphere? In other words, the big one. Now, if I've got one volume for the little one and 27 volumes for the big one, I've really been given a volume ratio. It's a little bit cryptic, it's a little bit crafty, a little bit hidden, but I've been given a volume ratio. So for part A, I'm going to say volume ratio. Move over a bit. It's going to be one, the little one, one volume of ball bearing to 27 lots. I know that because the new one is made from 27 of the little ones. That's the volume ratio. But they want me to work out the radius of the bigger steel sphere. In other words, I'm playing with linear ratios. So how do you go from volume down to linear? Cube root it. So linear ratio equals the cube root of 1 compared with the cube root of 27. Well, cube root of 1 is 1, cube root of 27 is 3. So, in other words, the, the radius of the large one is going to be 3 times as big as the radius of the little one. So therefore, 1 centimetre times 3 is going to be 3 centimetres radius. And I've done it. Now, part B is really complicated. This new sphere is now compared with an even larger one. So now I've got something like this, or whatever. Even larger one. The two spheres have a curve, have curved surface areas of 36 pies and 144 pies, respectively. In other words, that's got an area of 36 pi, that's got an area of 144 pi. I am being given an area ratio. Now, write down in ascending order the ratio of the radii of all three different sized spheres. Well, I know that one's got um, a radius of one. I know this one's got an, a radius of three centimeters. And I've now got to work out the radius of the even bigger one. So let's work with the area ratio they've given us. And then we'll worry about putting the ratio in ascending order. So area ratio first in dealing with the, uh, the middle sized one, which is that one and the even bigger one. So area ratio is going to be 36 pi compared to 144 pi. So pi divided by pi is gone bye byes Now, I don't even want to, I really don't even want to start simplifying that. What I will do is go down to the linear ratio. So if I go down to the linear ratio, I can find the radius of the super big sphere, that one right there. So here I go. So linear ratio, is going to be the area ratio square rooted. All right? And the reason I didn't bother to change it into a more simplified form is because the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of 144 is 12 and that is simply 1 to 2. That is really, really beautiful. Therefore, it's asking me, write down in ascending order the ratio of the radii of all three side spheres. Well, let me first work out the the radius of the largest possible sphere. Therefore, I'm going to take my 3 centimetres, remember it's 3 centimetres from before, and multiply by 2, because it's twice as big in terms of the linear ratio, and that is 6 centimetres. Now, put it all together. In ascending order, I go 1 centimetre, 3 centimetre, 6 centimetre. But as a ratio, in its simplest form, 1 to 3 to 6, and that, my friends, is a star. It has to be. It's gone beyond the basic ones. It's a cryptic, um, difficult thing you have to unravel and fight to get the ratio, especially for 12a. We have to suss out this is in fact a volume ratio we've been given. So that's a really beautiful question. All that remains for me to do now is a couple of videos for the assess. I've pretty much done all these questions and uh, it's way over the top, but anyway, I was on a roll, so I thought I'd just keep going. Right, see you in the assess.